Duke Thomas has taken up the mantle of a new superhero and has called himself the Signal. Lord knows he has his doubts. Surrounded by heroes and detectives, Duke Thomas is a mystery. A metahuman, part of a rising tide of people like this, with unique powers, showing up for the first time in Gotham. Though metahumans are no stranger to this world, they've never shown up in Gotham before, and it's left people on edge. But where Duke has plenty of doubt, Batman has full confidence and has even given the new hero his own headquarters, which he nicknames The Hatch. In spite of these doubts, Duke moves out and begins his new life as this hero. However, in an encounter with what might be his real family, a group of metahumans, it only takes six hours for the signal to go dark. Hello and welcome to Comic Island. My name is Arden and this is my review of Batman and the Signal number one. So this is the issue I ended up picking from this week's particular batch of comics. Duke Thomas has been carefully built up for some time, going all the way back to zero year, and has been a solid part of the ongoing meta-narrative that is Scott Snyder's Batman. It's all finally come to the head here, though Duke Thomas has been an active hero and this costume isn't even new for him at this point. The name, which has always been a bit of a question, has finally been decided on, and it's the signal. Honestly, it works well with the whole yellow and black motif, and uh, you know, it, it fits. He's dressed like the bat signal. It kind of works. And as for Duke Thomas, he's a pretty fun hero overall. This comic doesn't offer a lot in terms of anything terribly unique or exciting, though it is interesting seeing the steady march towards the events of Doomsday Clock taking place here. After all, that particular event takes place a year from the events of all the other DC comics, and clearly they're building up towards it with all this talk of metahumans and them rising in Gotham. The whole thing is a very interesting, ongoing narrative, and I'm very curious to see where it all goes. But as for Batman and the Signal, well, it's not anything that exciting or special, but it is nice to read a Snyder comic that isn't buoyed down with all the stuff with DC Metal. Look, I have made it very clear I love DC Metal, but it's nice to take a break from all of that and just focus on a polished Batman action story with this new character. Overall, in that regard, it works. I like the hatch, even though at this point all the various bat headquarters are starting to blur together in my mind. That's okay, because, I don't know, it kind of makes sense to me they'd all have similar headquarters to one another as part of this network that these crime fighters have formed in Gotham City. So that all works, and Snyder's story clearly is taking place here, while Tony Patrick fills in a lot of the particulars in terms of writing. You can kind of see both of these writers bleeding into this comic. I'd recognize Snyder's handiwork a mile away, but Patrick brings a unique brand to it and gives this comic a little bit more of a human feel than what Snyder typically goes for. And that's nice. With Collie Hammer, Laura Martin, and Darren Bennett handling the art, it's a solid issue overall, even if it is a little different. Different isn't necessarily bad, there's just certain ways that Collie Hamner does some of these perspective shots I find interesting and a little different from conventional comic book takes. That doesn't mean it's bad, just different, and that's interesting. So overall, Gotham by Day, or Batman and the Signal, is uh, off to a solid start. This three-part miniseries is a pretty good beginnings and is a nice way of broadcasting what's good about the Signal and Duke Thomas and why we should care about this character. I would kind of recommend it, but like I said, it's nothing special. So let me know what you guys think of all of this in the comments section below. So thanks for watching this video. I am trying out a new camera today, so let me know how it goes. Uh, it should be a little better quality. Eh, we'll see. I'll probably need to tinker with this a little bit, but this is just an early trial of that. So let me know what, how it goes in the comments section below. And thanks for watching! If you like Comic Island and want to support us making more videos, you should definitely check out our Patreon page in the video description below. Finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep reading comics.